Hey guys, Carl here, and welcome to another episode of Ab Geek Brief, where we try to tell you everything you need to know in about two minutes. Today, we're out at the airport for a very particular reason. We're gonna teach you how to chain down an airplane. Hey guys, I'm out here on site today at the airport for one major reason, my house is under construction. So I decided to do something I think could help all of you. But before we get started, let's go ahead and get that countdown going. All right. So this is near and dear to my heart because I have seen airplanes get flipped on their sides. Uh, if you do a little quick Google search, you'll be able to see some 208 Cessnas that have gotten flipped over during some what we call haboobs here inside of Phoenix, Arizona. And even today, when I walked up to my airplane, I recognized that the airplane's not chained down properly and it really needs to be. Uh, if you take a look at a chain, it's only as strong as its weakest link. And on most aircrafts that are being tied down, that would be the S hook that's right here. Uh, a couple years ago, we had a microburst hit Deer Valley Airport, and you can see this uh, S hook here isn't so S shaped anymore. So this is truly the weakest link. So how do you properly strap down a plane using chains? Well, the first thing you're gonna do is grab the chain and make sure it's nice and tight. Hold the other side here and then grab a link to the chain. Again, stronger than the S hook. And we're going to go ahead and push it through the chain. Well, and most people would stop right there and put the S hook through there. Now, that S hook I showed you before, that's why it was not so s -y anymore, is because it got pulled. So what we wanna do after this is take another link of our chain push it through and then take the S hook, pull it up through it like this, and then it is secured. Now we have taken all the load of the chain and any stress that the airplane can put on it from lift from a microburst or other winds, and it is going to be stopped by the chain itself and not the weakest link. All right, guys, that's how you're supposed to properly do this, to make sure that your airplane is protected from gusts of wind and just while it's being secured at the airport, make sure you're, again, not using the weakest link. But that should be about everything you need to know, and I hope you like this video simply because it was a little bit more candid because of that construction at my house. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video and I hope you found this informative in some way. This was actually taught to me by someone a long time ago and not even my actual instructor. Anyways, go ahead and give this video a like if you liked it and leave us a comment down below if you tie your airplane up differently. I'd, I'd like to discuss that. Anyways, share aviation wherever you can and we'll see you in the next one.